Welcome, welcome. I just now decided after Margie started the countdown that I wanted my hair in a ponytail because it will be cooler. So, <laughs> don't know what it'll look like, but I'll be comfortable. <laughs> Thelma and oh. Matt and Laura and Martha G and I saw Glenn on Hi, Glenn. Yeah. And Thelma. That's where we're at. Yeah. Hi, Hello, guys. all you guys. Good to see you. Hey, today is going to be such an easy class. I had no idea when I picked this class up just how easy this is. It is so easy, but the, the cards turn out really cute. Take a second. Here, go ahead and bring my hands with you, please. Yeah, the cards turn out really cute, and I think they're just wonderful for the guys. I like the plaids. I like the little pictures they put in them. I like the larger photos. Here is Grand Piano. This one says, Mayor Davy, as perfect as you are. This one kind of features musical notes and keyboards. And another one. This is Super Dad. Now, even if this one doesn't apply, one of the kids can give it to their dad. But it says to the best dad ever on the inside. On the outside, it says Super Dad, you're the best. Coffee, you're the best coffee drinker, lift giver. Fixer of things, dog walker, football player, great cook, pocket money giver, computer game player, and coffee drinker. <laughs> so if you Super cross good. out what doesn't work, because my husband doesn't cook. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. But it's adorable. I do like them. I like course. them a lot. I like the way they look when you open them up. They look like you spent all day on them. Wait till you see. I was just telling Margie we might have to we might have to fill in with something. But let's go ahead and get started. Grab a ladies' <laughs> kit. You could grab a ladies' kit. Yeah, that'd be fun. Why don't we do that? Okay. Okay. Down. Margie's gonna go get the ladies' kit because it isn't gonna take us enough time to do everything we have here. So at least you'll be able to see the ladies get through that way. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want you to know is that the suggested, well, let's see what's in the kit. You get all these different sheets that have, it's one sheet per card. And these are the backgrounds, the card bases. You get envelopes for everything. You get a direction sheet, which we're not going to need. And that's it. That's what's in your kit. So the first thing I want to show you is that there is a suggested card base that goes with each one of them. You can tell because you match the outside of the punch out sheet with the card base. And so I can tell that this is the one that's intended for the fisherman. Now, let's talk about uh, folding this base card. When you fold it, we're going to kind of pre-fold the outer part. We're going to make a mountain fold on the front of the card. We're going to make a valley fold on the back of the card. And then we're going to fold this one inside the opposite direction. So we're going to make a mountain. Well, I guess we're sort of making the same fold. We're making a mountain fold, a valley fold, a mountain fold, and a valley fold on the inside. So that when we pop it all together and we score it all down, It's a good idea to use a scoring tool for your nail to <laughs> score these in place. This is what our cardboard looks like. 
So let's go ahead and just start putting some things on here. All right. So our first two images, and you can just see that they've actually created a panel to go on every panel of the card. So we've got this beautiful plaid here. And we're going to put this here. And we're going to put the matching one on the other side of our card. Here. Well, let's get our glue bottle out. All right. I was just saying, Betty, before you got in, this is the easiest card blank or the easiest card kit you'll probably ever see. Because all we're going to do is match the panels to the cards. I'm gluing it. You could tape it if you wanted. I taped it, but once you're stuck, you're stuck, and there's a little bit of maneuverability to get it in the center if you glue. That's my. Yeah, with glue, you have just a little bit of slide room. A little slide room available. Okay, looks like this one goes in the middle. Beautiful foiling on these, I have to say. I didn't put these on deep discount because they really have only just come in fairly recently and they're quite pretty. So I didn't put these on sale. I did actually a little tiny bit even though I wasn't going to because it seemed like the thing to do to give you a little bit of a discount. But With Father's Day right upon us, this one is so timely. I do have just a little bit of a surprise for you later. I'm putting these pieces now. Can you back up just a little? Sure, I feel yeah. kind of cramped. Yeah. Maybe. Other way. It's, it's not letting me go the other way. Um, let's try. Let's stop and start. Oh, that. No. <laughs> Oh, you know me, Thelma. I must do what I must do. We'll just do it manually. How does that sound? That sounds Is good. That okay, or do you no, need a little further. More? further? There? Yeah, okay. that's good. Maybe just... then it will now move for me. Just meaning to plug in and out again. Okay. So I got these long, narrow pieces put in. We've got, huh. wow, this one really only has just the one image and all these pretty foiled pieces. Just gonna go ahead and pick these out. I dare to dream. Um, there's really hi Lucy. There's really nothing different between a concertina shutter card and a shutter card. 
Um, it's just what Hunky Dory chose to call them. <laughs> I don't see any difference because I've done shutter cards before too. And I really don't see any difference between the two. Okay. All right. We're going to take these. So all we're doing is matching the different size pieces, guys, to the different size pieces in the... <laughs> to the different size pieces in the... Um, on the shutter card itself. So there's really a piece to match every square. What did we do to poor James? Oh. <laughs> she went shopping. Uh, Thelma said, go ahead, tease us some more. You're really good at that. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Don't be too disappointed. It's really only a little tease. <laughs> disappoint anybody ever <laughs> okay i'm going to use there's they give you a choice of two phrases oh, putting one on somewhere are they no no they're just giving you a choice between two okay that's what i thought this one i like for this card it says it's the little things that make life special i'm going to put this in the middle of my center panel on my bright coral color here. Right here. Fits like it was made to go there. I could have chosen to say, um, just to say instead, but Okay, and now I'm going to put these little coral pieces on the four remaining panels. I should say something like, shh. Because you're supposed to be quiet when you sit on the boat vision. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to put the topper on the front. And... We will be about done with the first one. Whew. It's good to see you with us today, Lucy. And Dare to Dream, I know that you've given us your name before, but I don't remember what it is. What's your first name? Really, this kit today is almost an excuse for chatting because <laughs> it's so easy to put together, guys. So very easy to put together. But you know, they are really cool cards. I do have to say that. They just don't take any work, really. <laughs> Hunky Dory's done all the work for us in the creation of the card base and the choice of the papers. And Okay. When I put this one on the front, I'm going to put it on leaving about a half an inch all the way around. So I'm not putting glue all over the back here. I'm actually, I think I'll go ahead and put my glue line over here so I can see where I'm going. And hope I have it in the right place, but I know I do. I could actually go a little wider than that. Put another line here. Okay, here's our finished card, guys. Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. Nice to see you. So, there we go. I love the colors in this. Isn't it beautiful? Um, some of you guys came in after we started, so I'm going to show you guys the ones that Margie popped together for me for samples. Here's the sailboat. I love this. I want you to see that we have a boat on that panel and we have a lighthouse inside. Oh, that's nice. Okay. 
There's the grand piano. So it's your weather like there. Our weather out here in Oregon is beautiful today. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'll save this tag here, the extra for another card or send it to Emma. Okay, one of the things I also said before some of you may have come in is that you match the background to the background on your punch out sheet. So the Primrose Lane style card is going to go on one of these browns. Are these on our website? Yes, they are. And um, do we have it linked yet, Margie? Okay. Do you need the number? No. These pop up pretty easy. Yeah, they do. Okay. So once again, we're going to kind of pre-fold our card. We're going to do mountain on the outside fold. And then we're going to do valley on the next fold. And then we're going to do the inside fold. We're going to do mountain, valley, and mountain again. You guys got that? Let me show it to you loosely folded so you can see where we're going. Just like that. Do a little soft pre-fold so nothing gets kinked while you're doing all these separate folds. You see how easy that is? Super easy to assemble, although it's probably the trickiest part of the whole thing. And it's um, <laughs> pretty darn easy. This, um, what Margie just put up there for you is a link to the, hi, Pam, good to see you, friend. It, the, what uh, Margie just put up for you is a link to the, this product. I'm going to go ahead and take out a few of my toppers. I probably won't take them all out because I can't be trusted with things like that. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Good to see you. That's okay. I can't be trusted at all. My brain is just somewhere else. Guys, ignore that link that I just gave to you because oh. you will be locked out because that's our sewing side of things. In oh, big <laughs> yes, forget sorry. the first link. Go forget for the, the second one. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to take out just a few of these and then we'll get started here. Okay, you begin by putting the two longest pieces. And I'm going to put the green. Oh, wait a second. That is directional. Is that not directional? That is. It's one of those that has writing on it. You really can't read. But I do want it to be right side up. So, yeah. There is a right and a wrong side up to this. Just look at the lettering to figure out which way it goes. And I'm going to put this long piece right here on the front first. This one gets layered by the big topper, the main topper. So I'm going to put this on. I do recommend, I think, glue for this as opposed to tape because you're centering all these little things. And you just kind of have a little bit of wiggle room to move them around. Okay. Ooh. Hi, Mary you. R. And I wasn't sure if you caught uh, Irene. I'm not sure I said hi to Irene. Hello, Irene. <clears throat> I'm sorry to say it earlier. We're doing the simplest cards ever, but they are really, really pretty when they're done. And this set we're working on is decidedly masculine, although some of these cards would work really well for women too. But it is the for him version. So it is, they are more masculine. There's more cards that are masculine than feminine. But I think anybody might like the sailboat. I think anybody might like the Primrose Lane. 
kind of scene. I think it's beautiful. I'm working on it backwards, sorry. I'm going to put this long piece right here. Can everybody see what I'm doing okay? Be sure you guys tell me if you can't see what I'm doing okay. Well, sometimes I just get into doing and then I... I can shut you out, and that's not what I want to do. <laughs> okay. This has an up and a down side to it, so I'm going to look at the writing to decide which way goes up. I'm going to put this one right in the middle. It's pretty even as we're putting it together. Okay, then I have these two smaller pictures, and I just have to decide which one I want where. I think this one gets more attention, so I think I might put this one here. But I have a church on one, and I have a cottage on the other, and I'm going to put these two little photos on these smaller tabs that are just the right size, so you'll always know where things go because... There's only one place they go, <laughs> which is what makes this really easy. <laughs> I said hi to Pam. You did. Oh, you did. Care. That's what happens when I'm over here doing other stuff, too. I don't keep up with the board. <laughs> okay. Gwen's uh, teasing the net that she's going to buy the whole store. <laughs> I tell you what, if you can afford to pick stuff up, it's absolutely the time to do it. You will never, ever, 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 ever see these prices from us again because I'm doing it because I have to do it. But <laughs> I will say that after all the orders that you guys placed last week, I expected to go downstairs and see the hunky-dory shelves half empty. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> They're not even close. I think I had three empty shelves. That was, now we do have, we did take a bunch off the ends too, but sending best wishes. Time to relax and enjoy life. I think I tend to like the big saying again, so I'm going for the big one. Oh boy, okay. So it's pretty warm, not super warm here today, but it's beautiful out. Enough that Bob and his kitty were outside again today. His kitty has gotten quite accustomed to leaving her catio and getting to come out on the, um, getting to come out on the, the deck and lay in the sun under the umbrella. She thinks that's quite fun. Now, her whole catio is shaded, so it's not like she's deficient for shade, but she gets to come out with the people, and she likes that. So <laughs> these little ones, once again, are ones that have writing on them, and while you can't read the writing, you can kind of see which way is up. So be sure you check these to see that the lettering is right side up on this particular set. My other option for the saying for the inside, I opted for time to relax and enjoy yourself. My other option was sending best wishes. But I like relax and enjoy yourself. That could still be birthday, Father's Day, any old day that I want to make it. Okay. And I'm going to probably glue around my opening again because that worked really well last time. So I'm going to put my glue for this topper out here. It's going to end up having about a half an inch all the way around. 
the new one I just put on wasn't very straight. I just put it back on better. Okay, that should work. I'll put my pretty little cottage topper on top there. And we have number two done. <laughs> Oliver went with Papa to the mailbox and tried to carry the last box in. Oliver said, Nana, what are you buying now? <laughs> And we've got our images here. That's really pretty, isn't it? I love the colors and the foiling. It really catches the light nicely. And these are kind of neat because they kind of fold up into a little packet, so to speak. You know, they just kind of catch on, on the sides and let you kind of, let you kind of um, fold them up tight, which is nice. <laughs> Nana, what are you buying now? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Margie's in here going through our cards for the last year, looking at our card kits and figuring out which ones we have not yet offered to our offered to our local customers and classes. That's a pretty good sign that we'll be moving along pretty soon and starting classes up once we get. <laughs> and that told him, I, I told him I was buying stuff from Miss Debbie. He was so excited. He, I was cooking and he wanted me to stop and open the box. <laughs> I'm matching my background to the background on the, on the card. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. I'm going to fold my card by, I'm going to have a mountain fold, soft fold, the outside here, I'm going to soft fold the outside down here. Then I'm going to mountain fold the inside. I'm just soft folding it right now, and then I'll come in and crease some better. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. I have to look at it myself and see am I doing it right. And I can push it on closed. Your whole objective here, guys, is that this one will pop out in the center and line up. <laughs> Pam says, um, Carter tells me, Mama, you have too many stamps. I say, no, baby, that room just needs to be bigger. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> there we go. There's my card blank. This one's soccer. The, the, the thing I like about this set is that it's not dominated by sports. And there's enough people in the U.S. that play soccer that I think that this is actually a really nice kit for the U.S. Because it has a little bit of everything. It has just this one sports one, but then it has fishing and it has the grand piano and it has the little cottage and it has the super dad. And so it's got lots of fun potential. You can really turn these strips here either direction you want them to go. Depends on what you like better. This time I think I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna turn the blue out this time because I like the blue on the edge. So I'm gonna start once again with my longest strips. <laughs> oh, I like the way you think, Pam. Did you get your box from us yet that had your, um, I want it all set in it? I think that's the last one. 
that we'll ever be able to get of that one because I ordered two from the wholesaler and they only delivered one of them. I think that's the last one of those. It's not like they're going to, um, Heartfelt Creations is going to make any more of the <laughs> um, it's going to make any more that I want at all. They only make a certain number of those, and then when they're gone, they're gone. So I'm putting I'm putting the blue ones on this time with the blue strip out. I just think that looks pretty. I love the blue and the and the brick color together. This has beautiful blue star or um, silver stars on a blue background with this one. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Did you see that card that Roberta made, Pam? I know that your work schedule sometimes conflicts with being able to see everything. Did you see that card that Roberta made using the, the um, dragonfly kit? If not, it, I think it's, it's at still the end in of here. The table, yeah. yeah. If you didn't see it, I'll show it again. It's just one of the prettiest cards I've ever seen. That's what I said about my house now. Debbie is really helping fill up my empty rooms. <laughs> hey, Martha, I'm here for you. Hey, did you notice plural rooms? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I haven't even known friend Martha that long, but... <laughs> We're getting to know each other pretty well, aren't we, Martha? <laughs> oh, good. Betty made a bunch of new home cards, and she thinks she's found an outlet for those. That's good. Yeah, it seems like a realtor might really like those. Okay. She also requested if anybody can help her make bookmarks. Yeah. <laughs> She's starting to get a little worried. <laughs> Wasn't it a thousand? Yeah. That's a lot. A lot, a lot. And she works too. <laughs> Pam, did you say you had or had not seen Roberta's card? If you haven't, I want to show it again. Or if anybody else wants to see it, I want to show it again. Here comes Bryce in from the post office with a whole new box of, or a whole new stack of post office crates. Yes, you want to see it again? Okay. Okay, this one has a just for you. Or have a ball on your special day. I think I have to use have a ball on your special day. So. <laughs> and that said I had a pantry cabinet and storage. Brought it here. Let's just say I filled it quick. Bought it under the bed tote. Filled those. <laughs> Oh, I will show you, I will show everybody that card here in just a minute. It's gorgeous, I'm telling you. Have we haven't seen Roberta yet today, have we? No, I have not. Where's that lady? She popped in for just a little tiny bit last night. Was she ill or she just had things going anything. on? I don't know. Maybe I'll drop her a line. I always worry when my friends disappear. I think, hmm, what's going on? Anything I need to know about? <laughs> In other words, I'm a nosy friend. That just means I love you. Aren't I, Margie? <laughs> I don't think I've ever thought of you as a nosy friend. <laughs> Well, good. I must not carry it too far. She'd never thought of me as a nosy friend. Yeah, I pretty much have an open book. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Hi, Ruth. Good to see you, friend. 
we're making cheddar carts today. We're using the um, concertina shutter cards for him kit because we have just enough time to finish all these easy cards and still use them for Father's Day. And they are really, really pretty and really, really easy. <laughs> I'm with the net. I'm sleeping over my card kits. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping over my card uh, kits. Mark huh? G made me snort. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you guys, you will never regret it. You really won't. You'll never regret getting stuff at 50, 60, 70% off. You know, man. And since we know how to make so much more from each of those kits than what they were originally intended to make, we really get the cards from them. <laughs> Lucy said they took over a 600 square foot sunroom in her house. It still isn't enough for my crafting goodies. Oh, I'm with you, Lucy. <laughs> my classroom is 750 total square feet, including the office and Actually, that's the office and the bathroom and bathroom slash laundry and the um, the classroom tables and everything. But my point there is that it's not enough either. <laughs> I still have plus stuff in other rooms. <laughs> okay. Once again, what I'm doing here is just, I'm gluing onto my card base because I know where my topper's going to fit. And yeah, well, the, the amount of crafting stuff, this is like a, 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 this is like, you know, Isaac Newton didn't come up with this, but he should have. Crafting stuff multiplies proportional to the amount of space available. It just happens. It's like the law that expenses rise to meet income. That is also a, a law. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a law of nature. Crafting supplies multiply by the amount of available space. There's our soccer guys. Now, see, this might be guys on the soccer card, but there's no reason why you couldn't give this to a girl. Uh-oh, you had a bad reaction to your booster, huh, Betty? I need to go get a, a I, booster shot. I did, too. I had fever, and my arm swelled way up this time. I got my shingles shot at the same time, because they say you can do more than one. And apparently, they were the wrong two to choose to do together. <laughs> Just reminding you guys about our neat little idea that I saw in another YouTube channel. They're taking a little Dixie cup or a small cup of any kind, putting a wet wipe in the bottom of it and it's resting their open glue bottle in it so that the glue tip stays wet. There. I was trying to find somewhere that I could put that and not have it in the way. Okay. So we have one of each done at this point. <laughs> We still have six left. These are the remaining sheets. We've got another soccer, another cottage one. We've got another of the boats. We've got another fisherman. We've got another super dad, and we've got another grand piano. This kit makes 12. We get 12 sheets of these, 12 card bases, 12 envelopes. So we have all of those, and I just asked Margie, go down and get us. Could you take this out of inventory? Yeah, will, you, will you do that, please? Yeah, okay. And um, let's do the ladies' kit, too. <laughs> because we didn't have enough to fill our time. Because it's only 440, and we finished them all. <laughs> but... This gives me a chance to show you the ladies' kit. You but before I do that, 
Before I do that, I want to show you Roberto's card here. I get lots of beautiful cards and it's no, there's, there's no criticism to anybody else that I haven't shown theirs 47 times. I get some really, really beautiful cards, but I just have to say maybe it's the dragonflies because you know I love those. Maybe it's the colors because it has purples and greens, my two favorite colors together. But I really think it's the card design that brings me to this one. It's just one of the best made cards I've ever seen. She was so intentional with her choices, too. Yes, she was. There's actually three layers in this card, maybe more. She has a background here behind the lattice cutting die. A lot of you guys got this lattice cutting die from us. When we were doing the Animal Kingdom, we did a special on this lattice die. And a lot of you got that lattice die. She has that over blue paper in the back. And the blue matches the blues in the card face perfectly. So she's got blue and then she's got the lattice work. Then she has a second, another layer here where she's put the face on. She's die cut circles, like I'm going to say an inch and a half circle, inch and three quarters. But the circles are actually slightly different sizes. This one's a little smaller. This one here is at least two inches. And this one down here is, I'm going to say it's the larger of the two sizes. And she kind of left some where the circle hung over the side of Yes, she did. Um, yes, she did. You can see that the circle actually cuts further than the edge of the paper. Then she cut, she die cut and colored, or maybe used some of the die cuts out of the book, I'm not sure, but took flower stems and stuck them down between the background paper and the c cover sheet here. So she's got these beautiful bouquets coming up in to the outside of her card here and here. And up here, she has a double layer dragonfly. She has made a dragonfly and then she has covered that dragonfly with um, heat embossed gold. And here is the heat embossed uh, another dragonfly here and a third one down here. She has taken this card face and it's up on some foam squares to allow her some room to tuck that stuff in. And then she has taken gold mini borders, thin line borders, and gone around the edge of the purple card, the um, the multicolor card on the outside. And that is ever so slightly smaller. I'm going to say maybe an eighth of an inch, a eh, quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch smaller than her base card. And she's run another line of thin line stickers around the base card. And finally, she added three little pearls at the top here. This is just one of the prettiest cards I have ever seen. It is an amazing amount of work, but it's just and, gorgeous. And her dragonflies, she embossed. Yes, those I said that. Place, yes. Which really makes it. Yes. I don't know how much it stands out for you guys looking at it, but it really looks beautiful in person. And because they are layered, she's perked up the wings on the upper layer, so they just look beautiful. And then she finished off the inside with just a simple, um, a simple um, insert paper. I used some little dragonfly stickers. And actually, I think some of this is a punch, maybe a little dragonfly punch here. And happy Mother's Day on the inside. But isn't that just the most beautiful card? Oh, my gosh. Uh, Martha, we have we still have components from the um, the dragon the um, delightful dragonflies from Heartfelt Creations. 
you can um you want to link that collection margie yeah, do you know how to do that where you actually put it in quotation marks it'll bring up everything that's related to that and then you copy the link for that and you can use the sorted link so it'll bring up all the Yeah, we actually, Lucy, we sell dazzles in in um, the thin line and a variety of other styles. We also have some from um, Starform. And there's a lot of work in that card, Irene. It's a gift of love. And I, <laughs> I, for one, truly, truly appreciate how much work has gone into that. So, um, yeah, Margie's going to link you on the collection here but kudos to roberta it's just one of the prettiest things i've ever seen okay let's talk about cards that don't have so much work <laughs> this is the for her collection in the concertina shutter cards we're going to make up some of these here's our card bases in very soft feminine colors we have all our envelopes for our cards we have our detail sheets here. We have our instruction sheet, which we won't need. Oh, I think right off I have to do the purple one. Don't you guys think so? Because, you know. All right. Most, uh, most um, stickers are made in the Netherlands. And we buy a lot of stickers directly from the Netherlands also. Now, that's interesting. They don't give us a matching background for that one. So I might have to wait and see which one looks the best with it. Huh. Here, I made such a big deal about you can match. You could just match to the matching sheet. But they didn't give me a matching sheet for that one. So I'm going to wait a minute and see which one looks the best. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. Look at the teacups. The teacups are gorgeous. And this does have a matching. <laughs> this does have a matching background for the teacups. So let's do this one next. Um, the little surprise I had for you is that while I did not put the men's set on a total discount, I did put the feminine set of these on discount for 50% off. That was my little surprise. So even though we're just demoing this in a class right now, you can get the you can get the um, concertina shutter cards for him for a couple dollars off, and you can get the shutter cards for her half off. So that was my surprise for you. Okay, so I've pre-folded it a bit. Now I have to kind of bring my folds in, close it. <laughs> You're welcome, Glenn. <laughs> Glenn said, okay, Annette, I just went through 14 pages of the Hunky Dory sale. I'm <laughs> done for now. <laughs> Until I, it doesn't. Word. It doesn't help you guys who are trying to say you're okay. I'm done now. That I keep going through and adding new stuff. I added a whole bunch of stuff. Where is Roberta? Is Roberta here? Oh, Thelma just said hi to Rob. Is Roberta here? We just oh, showed yes, up. We just showed off your card again, Roberta. <laughs> have you ever ordered from Netlet? No, I have not. My primary distributor directly in the Netherlands, there's two of them. One is UU, J -U -J, it's UU and it's um, J-E-J-E. -J -E. And the other one is um, Time Out Holland, which are both wholesale distributors. UU actually makes dazzles. <laughs> they actually make the dazzle brand stickers. So 
I've added all kinds of new stuff to the sail. So just in case you were thinking it was safe to go back in the water, I feel like we need to play Jaws music right here. Oh, okay. The last time I ordered from Crafter's Companion, they weren't selling peel stickers, so it'd be interesting to see a see what they're doing. And you better get tree you know you want because if it's only in your car don't make it <laughs> um, that's funny yeah yep, hsn crafters companion all kinds of places sell them but they don't teach you well maybe some of them do free crafting classes every three times or two times a week so that's where i I am. All right. <laughs> so much work to hit the enter button <laughs> well i appreciate your patronage glenn and it's a great deal for you too truly friend you will never ever hit pricing like this i've always prided myself on having one of the best selections of hunky dory crafts in fact probably the best selection in the United States because we've been selling it for so long and I didn't ever clear my older collections. I just kept them in place and kept adding to it. So Hunky Dory took over a bigger and bigger part of our warehouse. And I put Hunky Dory on sale for, you know, 20, 25% off once in a while. But this was, this is absolutely the biggest sale we have ever done on Hunky Dory or will probably ever do just because the aisles we have to move are all Hunky Dory. Well, Hunky Dory is on all of those walls. There's a few other things we have to move. I haven't paid enough attention to what they are yet, but. I do know that, okay, putting the little butterflies on the small panels. I think I probably have a better selection of Hunky Dory crafts, at least before this sale, than Hunky Dory themselves, because they clear their old collections and move on to the new ones. So I probably had more SKUs in stock for Hunky Dory than Hunky Dory had. But... You do what you have to do. <laughs> We're getting all ready for the project. We've got a small army lined up to help us move and pack things. And then we've got Margie and Brittany and Ashley to watch the guys and make sure they <laughs> take due care <laughs> because that's going to be important and that they move things in a way that allows us to be able to put our stuff back and get back in business quickly because when you have as many products as we have across our store the ability to find things quickly becomes one of your most important factors you have to be able to find it so moving guys and the labor to move it is one thing the ability to find it is the other the project itself the actual jackhammering out of our concrete the installation of the drains and the sub pumps 
and you know the taking out of the floors taking out of the walls that's not going to take more than about three days maybe four we've allowed for three but but i think they bring in a small army too and so we're thinking three days for that but the kicker is that we can't put any shelving units back on the new concrete where they repour the concrete and put the floors back down we can't put floors down and we can't put any cabinetry over the new concrete for two weeks. Can Don put the um, sheetrock on? Yes. Oh, well, that's good. Yes. That's Don good. has a guy to do sheetrock and walls back. What I meant was is while it was curing. I don't know <laughs> that. We'll have to see. So it'll take two weeks of work to... Um, or of curing time before we can do anything. And then Don, our contractor, who is our guy that does everything for us, is going to come back and lay back down the floors, <laughs> my beautiful new floors. So. But he's going to come lay down the floors and he's going to Oh, thank you, Roberta. I have it back like this because it's hot. I guess I'm hot. And I have the fan going in here. I just felt overwarm today. Because the sun is shining and, you know, I'm a Oregon girl. It's supposed to be cool and rainy. <laughs> okay, put my glue down on my front panel. And... There we go. I've got my teacup in place. So it's teacups and butterflies on this set. Isn't it pretty? And the saying inside this one says, sending love and best wishes. We've got butterfly panels up above and below and left and right. So um, no, the sale won't go on during the construction because we can't get to anything. So, um, I'll give you some dates though. I will give you some dates in a minute, what we anticipate doing when. Um, let's go ahead and get a couple more of these female cards done because they're beautiful. I love that teacup. Here's galoshes. What do you call these? Wellies. Yes, you can tell the British, they call them wellies or anyone who has spent time in Britain. Like Ms. Margie has spent time in Europe. Oh, here's the queen of everything. I need to show that to my daughter so she can recognize me appropriately. <laughs> I tell her that sometimes I'm the queen of everything. You're just the princess of quite a lot. I believe that comes from Mary Ingebrit. <laughs> I'm the queen of everything here, just the princess of quite a lot. Oh, I like this one too. This one's also purple. And I know this one goes with this one. So let's do this one. So I will give you some dates here. Don't let me forget. And I will take care of that for you. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. So we are getting other plans made. Um, I think I told you last night that we're going to have Bob go and visit his daughter in Spokane for a couple weeks because I just worried about what that constant jackhammering would do to his nerves, our queen and leader. <laughs> I still love what you wrote in that card, Annette. She said, if we're ever invaded by aliens, I'm going to... I'm going to send them to you as our leader. <laughs> that cracked me up. <laughs> okay, so we've got our card folded. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I will tell you the date that it starts. I just have to get my phone out to give you actual dates. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, except we changed some of that. Okay. 
we've changed some of that since that first that or that was our very first draft we've been I we've been changing since then one, like yeah phone, but i thought that was it because i hadn't seen that up before last yeah week. no that was just my scribble notes okay. on my very first iteration okay. gotcha. there have been many iterations of the schedule my biggest concern is that well my biggest concern is that we get the project done we get it done right so we never ever have to deal with the flood again and that we um, protect our products those are the two biggest concerns that i have so we are going to once we move the shelves out of the way we are going to everything will be in the center of the room and they'll be working on the walls around the outside and we are going to drape everything heavily in tarps ignore that. Mary is going to go. Right, Mary, you got them. Um, you want to report them and block them, guys. Um, thank you, Betty. Um, that's my first concern. My second concern is that we hold really tight to the schedule and then we get things put away in a manner that allows us to get the store reopened quickly because it wouldn't take long for the cost of having the store closed all that time to exceed the cost of the actual construction. So we have to get back out and open again and serving you again as soon as we possibly can. So it's a big project though. And I keep hearing little additions to it now that um, we met with the, the terra firma again this week. And they said, they asked me about plastic sheeting under the sheetrock. And they said, I don't think there is any. And they said, if there isn't plastic sheeting under the sheetrock, in order to guarantee the job, they're going to have to take the walls out and sheet the, sheet the concrete walls in the foundation with plastic which will mean taking the walls entirely out instead of up two feet and a possible addition to the construction schedule. So, um, yeah, and most decidedly an increase in cost because there's always those. There's all the, always those unanticipated, yep, this is going to cost you more things. But you do what you have to do. <laughs> I have learned one thing in the last couple of weeks. If I, I, I am not looking at retiring. Let me just make that clear right now. I'm not looking at retiring yet, nor do I intend to for a while. But <laughs> if I ever decide to retire, it's going to be a two or three year process to move out the amount of product I have in this house. <laughs> which I don't anticipate doing right away. I still pay in for this house. So <laughs> my retirement is, is not on my plans at this point. But if I ever do decide, well, when the time comes, I eventually will have to. But uh, when the time comes, <laughs> we are, it's going to take a lot to, um, to sell off all the inventory because like i said when i went downstairs i fully expected to see half the hunky dory shelves empty and nope they consolidated things and and it's really full down there <laughs> <laughs> this one this tag here says sending birthday wishes i'm going to use this one this time this is a beautiful card here i love this one I love all these, actually. I like the male set. I like the female set. I think they're both beautiful. The masculine and for him and for her is what they're called. I love these damask pieces with the blues and the purples together. That's gorgeous. My second favorite color combination. Lay this down a little bit. Put these long pieces up here.
Thank you very much, guys. Uh, but it will solve the problem. And, you know, the, the nice thing is that if we do it and we do it right and we cover all our bases and don't cut any corners, um, the warranty for the for the um, water resistance will move on to anybody that would buy this in the future. So it's actually it's actually an enhancement to the value of our house because the weather's changing out here in the Pacific Northwest, and we didn't used to get storms like we get now. We used to have kind of a lesser and greater drizzles with the occasional rain. But now we get barn busters that, you know, dump inches of rain. And we've never had that before. And our soil out here is not one that is real receptive to that. So we get a lot of landslides and that kind of thing out here. And so with the weather ch patterns changing and they're saying we're going to have a greater number of storms than we've ever had before, it was really only a matter of time until it flooded again. <laughs> and we're just not going to live like that. So, yes, that is exactly right. <laughs> Margie was saying exactly the same thing to me just now, Annette. When we tell you it's full, it's full. <laughs> that means stop bringing stuff in. <laughs> Hi, Sharma. <laughs> now, the problem is going to be, guys, is that she's going to have emptied out quite a bit of the hunky-dory, which means that she's going to think that there's plenty of room. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, my nose. <laughs> I don't know if either one of my kids, my husband has an idea what my craft stash is worth. I don't know that either one of my kids would. I think Bryce's philosophy would probably be just sell it for whatever we got to sell it for and move it out of here. But um, I think Lauren's at least in tune enough that she would want to get the most she could get from my stash if I weren't here. I like to think she would. <laughs> I, but then I also know what those projects are like and sometimes it's just we got to get past this do whatever you have to do and just get rid of this stuff <laughs> I saved all my packaging and all my little things when I went through and consolidated so I have um, one large and when I mean large like the box you buy from Home Depot or Lowe's that size large <clears throat> it is full of all of my packaging for all of my stuff that's nice. So you can package it up like new. You take really good care of your stuff, just like I do. So, yeah. you know, your stuff will be as your tools and things will be as good yep. when they're sold someday as they are now. Look at that beautiful card, guys. I did it specifically with my dies and my stamps. <clears throat> that one is Let me this one in. In your craft will hold you. Oh, wow. <laughs> did you catch that? Glenn is spelled with one N when you make your craft will, Debbie. <laughs> My son says, bring in the dumpster. <laughs> Glenn, you cracked me up, buddy. <laughs> Oh, you're you're hysterical. I love this Japanese one. I think we at least got to do this. I still haven't figured out which one's which, but let's see what this one goes with. This says it goes with black flowers, but it's not going to go with black flowers. There's no black flowers here. Maybe the pink, one of the pinks, the background in the lady. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to oh, lay these the out. cherry blossom one, the pink? Uh, I'm not sure. No, let me see here. No, this is going with this. No, that's not what I was looking at. Oh, it's this one is going with, let's see, we have this queen of everything. She has a base. 
here. Okay, so That's I have I these saw. two left. And I have this pink one. And I have, oh, what's this? No, I already used one of those. Okay, I used one of those. I used one of those. I used one of those. These are the two I have left. So these have to be for these two. I think I like this and this. That's the way I'm doing it. Okay, I'm going to use this light lavender together with the deep lavender. They don't have matching borders, so it's really just you have to pick what you like. I'm sure this is intended to go with this one, though, because it has like ginkgo leaves on it. Mm. So I think yeah. that means that it's supposed to be Japanese. So I have choices made. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to make one or two more cards here. And then we'll talk about the construction schedule. And I do have a pretty good, it's not carved in stone, guys, because this stuff changes. In fact, my contractor's supposed to have been here today. We'll have to. Lucy, it's nice of you to drop into CS. Please come back. And we will see you again. What was it saying about the school having a low budget? Go up to that, please. I was wondering when you were going to make another hat. I was going to take my grandmother's old mink stoles. What is he doing? I got grandmother's old mink stoles and make mink line thongs for <laughs> Okay, Glenn. <laughs> I don't know quite what to say about that, but no idea. have fun watching basketball. <laughs> Oh, oh my. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes, we have done some serious contributions to the schools in recent months, I must say. The last um, date that I got was revised date from the 24th. Does that sound about right? Yeah, let me go through them, though. I figured I would just write it down. Oh, I've got it in my phone, too. No sense writing it down. Okay, yeah. It's, I am excited that during the curing time, when we can't really do anything to start putting stuff back together, I am elated to say that Bryce and I are going to go and have five nights at the beach and look this place up. It's really fun. It's a little, it's little. <laughs> there is a little place on the Oregon coast. It's in a town called Lincoln City, which is only about an hour. Oh, there they are again. Get those guys again, guys. Um, it's only about an hour and a half, hour, hour and a half from here. It's called Lincoln City. It's absolutely beautiful, gorgeous sandy beaches, and they have um, all kinds of wonderful activities there. They have um, they have sandcastle building competitions. They have um, kiting competitions. They have just so many wonderful things going on in Lincoln City all the time. And we are going to stay at a place Look this up because it's worth looking at. It's a place called the Esther Lee, E-S-T-H-E-R-L-E-E, -E -E, the, the Esther Lee. It's a little quaint, not fancy at all. Um, not fancy at all place, but they have the best ocean views of anywhere. They're just fabulous. And... Um, it's not horribly expensive, which is fun if you're going to spend five nights at the beach and spending what we're spending on our house. It's nice that it's not an expensive place. And if you stay in what they call their cottages, 
instead of the motel itself, it's dog friendly. We can take Teddy with us. So we're staying at the Esther Lee. Look it up. It's bit, you won't believe the views. It's just absolutely stunningly beautiful views. And um, I am really in need of some downtime and some, I just feel it. I mean, I just kind of feel fatigued. It's time to just take some downtime and enjoy the company of my husband and eat lots of seafood and have a good time at the beach with my puppy and my honey, Lauren and her friend or friends, not sure who all she's having in. She's a trustworthy kid, so I don't care who she has in. But um, she is going to stay back and keep an eye on everything and feed the critters and feed Milo, the goat, and all the kitties. And just watch over things so the house won't be empty. And yes. And... Um, the uh, Ashley's going to take the opportunity to jump on a plane and she and the, um, Joseph Vincent, our baby, are going to go to California and see her parents. Margie's going to be working on packing up her house. Yeah, Close to being done. Oh, okay. So I, I didn't know feeling... if you wanted to talk about that, but she is um, doing some serious work on her house. And um, I have so... a feeling right about the time we start this is going to be right when we start. The date that we start is going to be right around the time that our house should be ready to at least go through and get uh, offers. Okay. And if that doesn't work out for what we think that it will, then um, by July 1st, we will be having it on the market. So Margie's going to sell her house and, and is it okay to mention that you're, yeah, yeah. she's going to sell her house and her mom and dad are selling their house and they're going to cohabitate and they're trying to find something that has like an, an additional living unit in it so they can, they can, um, all have their own space and yet be together, which I think is really wonderful as parents get older, especially, you know, it's just really settling to your mind to know that, you know, you got somebody close by and watching out for them and they won't be two hours away. So I like that a lot. And as people get older, it's nice to know that we have the, the Portland healthcare system. We have one of the finest healthcare systems of anywhere. And it's nice to have them closer to major medical and stuff. You know, it's just, there's a lot of good reasons to do it. So I think it's wonderful what you guys are doing, especially for someone wonderful, this, this card says. Okay, good night, Martha. Nice to see you, friend. I think this will be our last card because after a while, it's just more of the same. It's kind of been more of the same for a while, but it did give us an excuse to chat, didn't it? And these cards are absolutely gorgeous. And these ones I'm working on right now are half price. So there's lots of good reasons to do this. <laughs> but I'll get this. I think next we'll go ahead and talk about the schedule. So everybody's got a lot going on in their lives and a couple weeks of downtime. That will be pretty good for everybody, I think. Margie may not be down as much as everybody else because she works primarily upstairs and there's often things to be done. But Margie could take time if she wanted to because it is a, if, if you know, when you're going to have time off at a time, at a time when we're not at full operation it's a good time to do it yep. okay so there we go isn't that gorgeous oh i love that 
with the red and the black. That's beautiful. Okay, thank you, Annette. I appreciate prayers always. Okay, so we've made some beautiful things. Here's what we've made from the For Her collection. We've made these three. I've shown you the guys a couple times, so I'm not going to go through those again. These are easy. I mean, it's almost mindless, but they're absolutely beautiful, and they look like you spent an enormous amount of time. If you actually make shutter cards and you are cutting all these little pieces and layering all these little pieces, you do spend an enormous amount of time. <laughs> yeah. And um, something that I like is, is that if you forgot something, short no or short notice happens, uh -huh. and you can quickly grab something like this if it's in absolutely your stash and make something. Yeah, and keep it handy. And keep it handy so you can use absolutely. It Okay, let's talk a little bit about the construction schedule. I'll give you a little better idea what's going on. All righty. Let's see. All right. Our preliminary project time frame is that on 6:23, we will on june 23rd which is how when when is that what's the what, what day that? of the week is that oh it's a thursday is that two weeks from today that is well it's the third the week. third week from today so three nine, weeks 16, from today 20. We're closing the store and shipping all orders that we have in place. Um, I'm asking that that week of the 20th, if you're having us hold anything, you need to finish up your orders and be ready to ship because everything ships that week. Okay? Does that make sense what I'm saying? If you're holding the orders and wanting us to combine shipping, Finish up, plan to finish up your orders and be ready to ship that week because we need to, we need to ship everything. I don't want to have um, hold boxes around. We need to be moving everything out. So I don't want any of your orders to get lost or damaged because we <clears throat> lost or damaged because we um, didn't ship them out. So. Thursday, the 23rd, the last of our orders will ship. Friday, the 24th. And actually, I think we had to move that back. Um, yes, we did. We actually moved this back again. It's earlier that week. The 21st That's is the last day for shipping. 621 is the last day for shipping. Um, I take it back. Because we had to have time to pack the shelves they're going to have to tear down. Tuesday, Tuesday is, the 21st. Yes, is, is closed door and ship all orders. Yes. So I don't have the most recent one here. You should let me use yours. What? No. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I just told Marge, you don't have to write this down. Yeah, there we go. 621 Tuesday, we close the store and ship all orders. That week, the Monday, the 20th, and the 21st, every order has to ship. <clears throat> Wednesday. Thursday, we're going to pack up the remaining hunky-dory in boxes. Friday and Monday, the guys are coming to move the shelving units and get everything out of the way for the workmen. The work starts on 628. That's Thursday, uh, Tuesday through Thursday of that week. Terra Firma is doing their work. And on July, Friday, July 1st through 7.15, we're in our cure time, that two-week time frame when we can't do anything on the concrete. So on Saturday, the 16th through Tuesday, the 19th, the walls and floors go back. And on Wednesday through, um, uh, let's see. On Wednesday, the 20th, 
through the 24th, um, Sunday the 24th, we are restocking the shelves. And I hope that we can reopen on the 25th. So, wow, that's our schedule. <laughs> so it's a very tight schedule and it will have to be flexible. Something might change here and there. In terms of classes, I won't be doing classes while I'm at the beach. So I'm going to be off for, what's these, uh, what's these dates? The, the 5th, I'm leaving on the 5th and I'm Sunday. coming back on the 11th. Yeah, so I'll miss a, I uh, ninth, no, the, on the 11th, the ninth, or the, I should be back no. on the 11th, isn't that a Sunday? No, that's a Saturday. Then, I, then the 12th I'll be back. Okay, so you'll miss the 9th and the 11th. Yeah, I'll miss um, Wednesday too, what's new Wednesday? Yeah, what's new Wednesday? I'll miss, what's new Wednesday, I'll miss one week, what's new Wednesday, the Thursday class and the Saturday class, I think we will be, um, I think we'll, we'll probably have things going on otherwise. I know you guys, a lot of you rely on this for your social time. So I'm gonna try and um, keep things going. I think we'll do a lot of work with quilling during the time that we're down, but I do have some other fun things that I have planned too. Next week, I want to do and Brittany's going to build this kit for me tomorrow. This 3D um, flower cards with the pearlescent card layers. Oh, it's okay, Glenda. We're going to be okay. Um, thank you for your concern, though. We're fine. Um, so the 3D card um, layers, the pearlescent layers, these are going to be beautiful. And we're going to use... We'll be using some border stickers. We'll be using some of these pink um, stickers, the um, Dazzle like Jewel like stickers on our cards. So that's going to be fun. Uh, week after next on Thursday, I think we will tackle this jungle kit, which looks like a lot of fun. I had another compliment on your hair. I just have to point it out. <laughs> How Thank you, Glenda. <laughs> I just pulled it off my neck because I was hot. <laughs> I think this one's going to be fun. I loved the last cards we did with the stamping set that were animals, and I think this is going to be great fun. So we'll be using this um, creative stamping magazine. We get another one of these great, big, huge stamp sets with this one, and they'll be jungle-themed cards, and that should be really fun. So... Um, week after next, or whenever that fits in the schedule of things we just talked about. This Saturday, we are doing our Graphic 45. And I am loving the way these are coming out. We'll walk you through what I did here, and then we'll make some more. So... Okay, um, then we'll make some more. So we've got this pretty, um, this is a use your own stash. So I use some flowers out of my stash. So I've got this one. And this is another one of the cards that I finished. And then this one. And this one. And then I had to stop because I just had too many ideas. And, you know, getting about six cards done before you ever start the class. <laughs> uh, it, this is an easy one to make beautiful things because the papers are so very, very pretty. This is from the room, uh, no, it's not. It's from the Elegance kit at Graphic 45. This collection is now retired. You will get in your kit from us, you will get a 12 by 12 paper pack, two 
um, six by 12 sticker sheets, a sheet of um, chipboard, and we will, that is going to be enough to make tons of beautiful, beautiful things. And um, yeah, we're going to work some more on that on Saturday. So that's going to be great fun. This is a use your own kit. So you get the, the paper, you get the chipboard, you'll be using your own card bases, you'll be using your own ribbon, flowers, um, pearls. Those are some things I recommend with this set, pearls and flowers and keys and those kinds of things. It will, <laughs> it will be really beautiful. So that's what we're going to work on. And that's this coming week. The following week, we're going back to quilling. So we've got, for a group that's got distractions every which direction, we've got some pretty good plans for the future, what we want to work on. And it's going to be great fun. I have such great ideas for you guys for quilling. I love how enthusiastically you've received that craft. Every, but I'm just getting so many nice compliments and comments from people who are really, really enjoying that, that we're just going to keep going. I, we're going to work with combs. We're going to work with a husking board. That sounds scary, doesn't it? It's not bad. It's a little pegboard thing that we wrap stuff around. So we're going to work with husking. We're going to do um, our quilling combs. And we're going to try our hand. If assuming I can get the paper, I'm still trying to get that. We're going to try our our hand at paper jewelry. So I've got some great ideas for you. Just fun, fun stuff coming up. And um, I, we're just going to take it slow and easy like we have been. So it'll be great, great fun. So <laughs> the quilling board just came in, Thelma. Um, Brittany should be able to list it tomorrow. I see the notions box sitting there. It just got here last night. And we, if she's still around, Betty McSorley, the eighth inch papers you were looking for, Thelma, you were looking for quilling papers. We have um, quilling papers arriving too. Roberta wants to know when, when are we doing the quilling? She came in late. So oh, okay. We did the men's concertina cards today. Yes, we did the men's concertina cards today. Um, they are perfectly situated. If you order right away, we will get them right out the door to you. And um, these are perfect for Father's Day and masculine birthdays. So that one is, it's a little bit on sale. I think it's $16 and it makes 12 cards complete with the envelopes. And then we also um, tried our hand today at the... Um, at the concertina shutter cards for her. And that one is on sale. Did you link that one, Margie? Yes, both have been linked. We've and been this one is off. on, it's on half price. So I just did that as a little bonus for you to put the, the for her on sale for half price. Okay, do you guys have any questions, comments, questions about the schedule, questions about who, what, when, where, why, or how? <laughs> questions about what we did today. Anybody got any questions for us before we get away for the day? We can't promise to answer them. No, <laughs> like I said so many times before, if you ask the meaning of life, that's a little longer conversation. <laughs> it's our pleasure to be here for you, Laura. We have a great time doing this. See you all Saturday. Roberta said, I do. I do have a question. Okay, well, hang out and see what your question is, Roberta. Oh, um, I told Irene that if she gives us a call after we're done with the meeting, that I'll help her find the thing that she's looking for Perfect. in the store. So okay. if you're still on here, Irene. As soon as we hang up, give us a call. Don't forget to call Margie, she says. <laughs> do you want uh, do you want Irene to call you or you want to call her? Um either way works. Okay. 
I can if you that. haven't heard from us in 10 minutes after the stream ends, Irene, call us at our store number, okay? If you haven't heard from us within 10 minutes, she might be having trouble getting through on the line or something. Did you have a question, Roberta? Do not get the calm in cooling kit. The calm. Do not get the calm in cooling kit. Oh, the comb wasn't in there, Roberta. The comb is going to be a separate purchase. Nobody got it in their kit. So it's going to be a separate purchase. I have a couple little tools. None of them are expensive, but that's what we're going to do. Okay, very good. I'm going to say good night, Gracie. We'll see you Saturday. Excuse me. Thank you, guys. You're going to have to wait for me to unbury the computers to turn everybody off. Oh, okay.